I said I was going to play Street Fighter. I didn't say which one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Fighter V for the Army Man LP Exhibitions. And there's an update to this. Of course, of course there's an update to this. Why wouldn't they be? I mean, it's always something. Well, look on the bright side, it's not that bad of an update. I'm not going to make you sit through a 3 gigabyte update. I mean, come on. Even though off screen I had to, you know, sit through a 35 gigabyte update. Even though I bought the damn Champion Edition offline, I mean online actually. And more importantly, I got all the damn characters. It was practically the up to date version, otherwise Street Fighter V would be practically useless. Again you do this Capcom. <sighs> but, oh, oh yeah, and that's right there. That you can't really actually deal with Street Fighter V unless you're logged into a damn server. You can only play the offline mode, and that's it. Hell, that's literally the only thing you can play if you don't have online service. And that's why not many people like Street Fighter V. But I'm playing it because, well... I've already played Street Fighter 4 for the channel, <laughs> and we all know how that went. Fucking Seth. Oh yeah, he's in this game too. <laughs> yeah, go figure. I haven't played this game in quite some time, and uh, I... The last time I played it was before the Champion Edition was announced. And as you can wholeheartedly tell, I played every character except for the characters that came out in Champion Edition. Notice the fight money on the left hand side of the screen. So, with that said, instead of playing the story mode, which I'll do someday, but not now, I'm instead playing the arcade ladder. And, uh, yeah. Who better to play the arcade ladder with than Street Fighter's version of Cole Young? And let me remind you folks, this is the very first time I've ever played with this goofball. Seriously, this man looks like a jobber, but the FGC is creaming their pants behind him. I, I, I don't get it. I seriously don't. I mean, he is as bland and generic as humanly possible. Yeah, sure, he wants to fight terrorists, but he wants to fight him with MMA. And that means leaving the military, where he has every right to use guns to fight terrorists with MMA. I mean, his heart's in the right place, his head, not so much. And even then, he's not really fighting terrorists, he's just getting into street fights with MMA. That, that's literally his character. And this is the main attack, I mean, the main protagonist for Street Fighter VI. Um, Capcom, you got some problems. But more importantly, Capcom's taking the Hanukkah route. Oh, um, yeah, there's a lot of people who haven't played Dead or Alive VI. Uh, let me tell you something, because I played the demo. <clears throat> they completely railroaded the whole damn story. You thought they were going to pursue Donovan after five last round? Nope. In fact, that doesn't even happen. The whole plot focuses on Hanukkah and uh, Kasumi, Hayate, and uh, Ayane do not even get any screen time until near the end of the game. And that's to reveal that Hanukkah's a relative of theirs. Oh, by the way, Luke's gameplay. Yeah, first time playing, and uh, he's a DP character. You win. He is a literal DP character. He's practically the combination between Fei Long, DJ, and let me try to think of who else. Um, oh yeah, Sean. Yeah, that's who this guy is. And those three should have been in this game, aside from him. 
I know they want to try to spice things up and add new characters, but this dude is... Ugh! He's bland! He's boring! Never in my life have I played a guy so bland and boring. And here's the thing, I never played with this guy up until this episode. And as you clearly saw, and by the way, I had this on the default difficulty, I wiped the fucking floor with Rasheed. That should speak volumes as to why the FGC loves this character. He's basic, I mean, how should I put this? His skill level is that of Keelik from Soul Calibur. Oh yeah! That's right, I'm comparing him to Keelik! A guy who any noob can pick up and play, but the FGC hated so much. Yet they like Luke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daigo seems to like him too, apparently. Cause the uh cause the event hubs and all of the FGC can't stop talking about this prick. And his V trigger is he light up his arms and do more damage. And he has a counter throw, apparently. I never used it. And it will bite me in the ass in one fight. But, uh, all in all, I do fit pretty well for a guy who hasn't even used loot before in his life. And no, I'm not complaining, folks. That is how piss easy it is to master Luke. I just didn't really use him at all. I just I just turned off my brain and just thought nothing. And yeah, th th this is basically how you're winning a match. Just about. And if it bores you, I'm sorry. But uh you win. Again, I've never played Luke ever in my life until this part. So, uh, who's next? I'll go after Lucia. She's also a new character. And for those who don't... Well, let me rephrase that. A new character to Street Fighter. She's actually one of the protagonists of Final Fight 3, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, she's the new protagonist of Final Fight 3... And it was her and Carlos in that game, if I'm not mistaken. But Lucia has a New York accent, and uh, I gotta say, she looks nice. I think she's the bodyguard for Cody, if I'm not mistaken, or a police officer. Oh yeah, that's right! Cody's no longer a prison bitch! Bless the Lord! He's the mayor of, uh, if I'm not mistaken... Metro City, yes, that's the name. Yes, he's the mayor of Metro City in place of Hagar, who surprisingly is not in this game. Yeah, that's who they should put in this game, Hagar! But no, they have to put this little jobber here. Ugh. Poison gets in, Hugo gets in, but Hagar doesn't? Man, Hagar gets no fucking love. <sighs> it's alright though. They can put who they want, so long as they don't put the cap right back in the fucking game. That's that's all I ask. If I ever see the cap ray again, I am gonna be so pissed. Oh look, all the Andores in the background! And Abigail, who's also in the game, by the way. And yet Hagar isn't in the game except for a background character. Uh, hold on. I have to think for a second. Oh! Hey, it's Mr. X from the very first game! And Saddam! He should be in this game! They, they own the rights to the final fight! Why is Saddam in the game? Dude, Rolinto's been in the games! Yeah, Rolinto's been in Street Fighter. So why in the hell aren't he is in the... I am baffled. They have a move pool. They have a, like a cesspool of Final Fight characters they can pick. Hell, Felipe, for God's sakes. Bring him back. Why bring him? I mean, why make Luke? He, he, he's... He's bland! And now I'm about to fight Oro. And as an Oro player, this is going to be pretty difficult. Because Oro, God 
buffed from the last time he's ever been in gameplay, which was Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Well, he was in Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, but still, he's got buffed to the point where he too is a DP character. And more than just a charge character. But more importantly, they now emphasize him not being a paraplete. I mean, uh, they emphasize him not being the one armed man. Fight. Oh, sorry, I was checking my text messages. Sorry about that. But, uh. <clears throat> and for the record, I was checking to see what was going on with my job. And, uh, yeah, I ended up having to go to work a little bit later as opposed to earlier tomorrow and that's what I was checking anyway oh I'm getting wrecked here by Oro and as you can see he's actually a lot faster and a lot more uh, a lot more versatile than the clumsy and reckless Luke and again I told you that Oro is no longer has a has his hand tied behind his back while he's fighting He's holding a turtle now. And I do believe that turtle is part of his uh, super art. Or critical art, if you will. And look how well I actually came back on this. Oh, shoot. He's about to put me down, man. I better do something fast. He's going to kill me if I'm not careful. Oof! I am... You know what? I'm actually getting my ass handed to me. And that's good. Because I don't want to have to look like I'm pretty much making everybody chop to me. Just this dude is a jobber. And all he knows is MMA! Alright. Let's try to make sure that I don't get my ass severely kicked. But, well, that's... That, that's a problem, I just got my ass severely kicked. And I forgot Oro had that move. I mean, actually no, Oro didn't have the high kick back in Super... No, in Street Fighter Alpha 3. I'm about, I was about to say Super Street Fighter 3. Okay, might as well call it that. Because there's three versions of Street Fighter... I mean, Street Fighter 3, sorry. I meant to say that. You might as well call it Super Street Fighter 3. But, uh... <clears throat> I did not think he had the uh, high kick and the flip kick. I think that's only exclusive in this game. But, again, I at least made it look like I was actually getting my ass whipped. Even though I actually was getting my ass whipped. I was trying to play that off. I really was. So, I guess I could go after Ryu then. Oh, yes. Ryu, who's basically going to make him look like a jobber, just like he did Abel. And just like Capcom practically did story-wise to Alex. I mean, Alex is not a jobber. He would have been a better protagonist than Luke. My opinion, hands down. Because Alex actually had something to uh, do. I mean, he was going after Gil. And... He realized that Gil was just toying with him, and he further pursued Gil, not for vengeance, but for answers. By the time of Street Fighter 3, although he got his answers, he still wasn't actually satisfied, because along the way, Ryu kicked his ass. Which is a lot of, which was a bigger story, a better story, than anything Abel had to go by. I mean, come on, Abel was trash. And speaking of trash, look at me. Look at me taking down someone who normally kicks my ass between the fifth and the last round of the story, or arcade ladder. I'm sorry, this is right here, the noob tube. <sighs> I'm... I swear to everybody that I have not played Luke at all in this game. But, I have been, uh, playing other characters. So again, that's why I had the ridiculous amount of fight money. And, of course, just like everybody in Street Fighter VI, I buried Ryu. Yep. 
What Luke just did is going to be pretty much everybody on the roster of Street Fighter Six's story. Bar none, hands down. <sighs> oh, right. They have this again. And I totally, completely forgot how to play this. So this ought to tell you folks that uh, I have been playing this game, but, n but not for some time. So, I've practically been a little bit rusty. Or rather, I know I'm going to get the comment, and I accidentally ran after the dude instead of the barrels. Why am I punching him? Go after the damn barrels, you fool! Ah! Don't kick him! Get the barrels! Ah, damn it. And I lost as many barrels as I... You know what? I'm not even worried about it. It's just a bonus game. <clears throat> it's nothing new. I mean, I, I... Honest to God. I honest to God, I'm not good at that bonus game. And I have to go back to practicing. Really, I do. So, uh... I think I could go for the next round. And I'm going after Cody. You know, Mayor Cody, who's no longer a prison bitch. Thank God. Oh, and in case you're wondering how he became a prison bitch, uh, he beat up somebody. That's all. And I think Poison also framed him for robbing somebody. That's another reason, too. <clears throat> but Cody came a long way. And he's still picking up knives, rocks, and, uh, pipes. Yeah, I'm not gonna have that happen. Screw that. I know how dangerous Cody could be with a knife, a pipe, and a stick. Or a rock, actually. I am not for Cody having any sort of concealed weapon. In fact, stay down! Well, that was fantastic. And now for the next fight. So long as I don't continue, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna waste this. Oh, wait, never mind, I got hit. Oh, so much for my perfect. It's okay. Time to end this. Wow, this is a terrible. Terrible special. It really is. But at least I won. That's all that matters. <clears throat> you win. But from the looks of it, once you start, it's hard to stop Luke unless you actually, you know, tech hit. And yes, tech hits are in this game. And oh. Oh no. I just realized I made a perfect, at least three perfects, without continuing. Oh fuck, I gotta fight G. Yeah, folks, I forgot to mention that! That's because, uh, I haven't played Street Fighter in a while, but I did play when G was an unlockable character, or, or a downloadable character. And G only appears if you have three perfects, and you had no continues. And my phone also went off right behind me. Sorry about that, folks. So, with that said, we got ourselves a fight with the president of the world. Or should I say, the megalomaniac of the earth, because this guy, uh... He's supposed to be the main villain for Luke, if I'm not mistaken. But they aborted that arc. Man, I'm just going to say, this is going to be boss version G. He's going to practically kick my ass. <clears throat> Even though G is actually a normal character, yes, he gets boss stats. 
And I'm trying to turn the tides on him before he does anything else. <coughs> well, at least we got the first round. And due to this being a boss character, it all goes downhill from there. You know, like fighting Gil. <coughs> oh god. I really do have something in my throat. Sorry about that. Oh god, I whiffed that! I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose for whiffing that. I need to stop with- oh god, he's he's going on a rampage now. And he's got fire, oh no. Wait, not fire, but he draws from the earth. And, uh, depending on the element, he either gains defense buff or his attacks as an added flame hit. Like that! Which, by the way, ended me real quickly. <sighs> I'm getting sh oh, I just got shook by Abe Lincoln. I'm sorry. There is just no way I could actually uh I, I there's no way I could actually come back from that. And he is blocking way too much, but thankfully there's an armor piercing thing. So long as I actually hit him, <clears throat> all the armor he lost will actually decrease even more. However, if I don't hit him when he blocks, he heals that back. That's the new mechanic for Street Fighter V. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who played this game know this. And also V-Trigger. I totally forgot how to use a V-Trigger. So, uh, there's not much to Oh! Damn it, I almost had him too! And he countered me with a goddamn body slam. Hey! I at least had to job out to him, at least. After all, he's gonna job out to me in Street Fighter 6. I'm not playing Street Fighter 6, because it's gonna probably be a PS5 exclusive. Yeah, that would be really stupid if Capcom made Street Fighter 6 a PlayStation 5 exclusive. That would be retarded. But then again, they've done really stupid shit. Like, for instance, pretty much hounding Koei on a copyright troll for almost a decade. Let's do it. Yeah, that was fight. really goddamn stupid. And, oh, great. It's my least favorite character of all Street Fighter. <laughs> One of them, anyway. No, I, I do not like Vega at all. In fact, I would die before playing as Vega again. <clears throat> Round one. I do not Point. like Vega one bit. And now they made Vega a DP character as well. <sighs> I really hate this dude. I think it has a lot to do with the fact of the original Street Fighter 2 where... Uh, he would just chip damage me and stay on the fence and won't come down until time expires. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. And also, when he's on the fence, you can't actually hurt him. Yeah, that's the main reason why I don't like Vega one bit. Thankfully, Vega doesn't do that anymore after Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And thankfully, he doesn't do that in Alpha 3. Yeah, and I still have to deal with Vega because, uh, well, he is one of the four generals. Or should I say the four kings? The other two being Balrog and the new character for this game, Fong. Now, for those of you who aren't too familiar with Fong, uh,. Fong is an assassin whose hands is dipped in poison, and that is his fighting style. Anything he touches be corrosed will be corroded with poison. So, yeah, he's a he's also an annoying guy too because of chip damage. And then there's Bison. He's 
he ends up being the boss of this game too, despite the fact both Seth and Gil are in this game as well. So I wonder how they're gonna actually have a new boss for Street Fighter 6. Are they gonna make Nikali a boss again and then job him out to Luke? Or are they gonna make G a boss and job him out to Luke? Yeah, that would suck, really, if they job this guy. You know, if they job them out to Luke, and Luke actually gets the Cassie Cage treatment, because that would really suck. But it's okay. We almost got Vega, and now that the mask is off. Oh yeah, that's right. He can throw the mask, and he can throw the claws as projectiles, and pick them up. And once the mask is off, he takes a defensive debuff. Which is good, because the last thing I need is for him to have the mask and claw on. Uh, I'm not playing against Fan. No, I don't want an annoyance. So let's do it Falk instead. I could actually say I like Falk. I really do. She's actually pretty cute. Wait, no. Let me take that back, because I know somebody's going to try to point out her age. <clears throat> but Falk actually is a, uh, I think a staff fighter? Yes. Or is it an Eskrima fighter? I'm pretty sure she's an Eskrima fighter. But she too has psycho power. So, yeah, it's basically her with a stick that acts as a taser that shoots you with psycho power. Well, that's basically it. <clears throat> and then there's Ed, who's just another Balrog, with psycho power. And Luke is pretty much turning them all into jobbers. It, it's just sad. Still like her outfit, by the way. <sighs> and I just got hit by said Psycho Power right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna let this continue on. And yes, he has an uppercut, too. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you didn't train him, but okay, I guess. You win. They'll probably nerf him in Street Fighter 6. I know that for a fact. If enough people complain and enough uh, FGC players use him to win tournaments, they're going to nerf him. Or they won't and buff him just like uh, they did every time Seth came back in Street Fighter 4. They buffed him and made him worse and worse and worse. Ah... Uh, I really hate Seth. And now, we take on Bison. I mean, I could have showed off Kage, but I think Bison would fit the bill as the last boss of this game. He's more menacing, more threatening, and more importantly, uh, he has more of a motive and objective. I mean, look at the damn background, for God's sakes. His statue is holding the world in his hand. That's all the more reason why Bison is the main villain. And, oh, uh, yeah, I didn't know that happened, but okay, I guess. And what the hell, what the hell was that in the background? Just weird shit happening in the background. I mean, it's hilarious and obviously weird. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to defeat M. Bison. Wait, is that Strider in the background? Yeah, that's Strider in the background! Uh... It doesn't matter. We practically won. <clears throat> it's over. That's the end of Bison. Oh wait, he's not the final boss, he's the ninth stage. No. It's a true American. The man whose theme song goes with everything. 
Except Street Fighter V's iteration. How do you mess up Guile's theme song in Street Fighter V? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Someone, please, please tell me how you mess up Guile's theme song. Somebody. <clears throat> But nonetheless, Guile is an important part of Luke's story because Guile is the one who set up Luke's uh, honorable discharge from the army. And also, Guile is Luke's CO, or should I say former CO. <clears throat> yeah, Luke's, uh, no, actually no, Luke is a petty officer first class or something like that. And Guile, I think, is still the rank of Colonel. But whatever the case, Guile is basically helping Luke cope with the fact that he wants to try to uh, find his path of beating terrorists with MMA without the military's help. Oh yeah, and Alex is in the background. Which is funny because Alex is a part of the game and I think Blanca is too. But, there's another part of this uh, stage I forgot to mention. Notice that there are certain stages that if you punch or mid-kick somebody really hard enough, they end up going into a different area of the stage. Yeah, that, that actually happens in uh, other parts of the stages. But particularly this one, if you kick them hard enough, they go into the safe. And at one stage where I kick Ryu into a coffin and also M. Bison into his own psycho statue. No, into his own statue, sorry about that. Where he got psycho crushed. Still, doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, Street Fighter now has um, pit finishers. Meanwhile, uh, Luke was just randomly fighting people, and Guile basically found out that Luke's discharge date was a day later, not a day earlier. So, <clears throat> Luke had to write a formal apology for going AWOL, because he was trying to fight terrorists with MMA. And uh, instead of fighting terrorists, he beat the shit out of Dan. Poor Dan. He does not deserve being the jobber of this game. Well, that's basically me jobbing everybody out in Street Fighter, which is probably going to happen in 6. Well, <clears throat> I'm done here, and I'm probably not going to be playing this game for quite some time, so the next episode is probably going to be a surprise. Just got to stay with me, and by the way, thanks for the 500 subscribers. See you guys next time.